Just a little introductory to Ram Precision's tooling system for wire EDM. These two beams here would represent your machine table. Uh, the actual bolt pattern on these are 25 millimeter center to center. Most common machines nowadays are 50 millimeter spacing. This is our main base, so you'd be using two of the screw holes for mounting it down. That'll allow you a little bit of shift if you want to reference it in one spot rather than another. There's about 3 8 thick material underneath the screws, so this way you've got good strong holding to the table. When you're first starting to fasten it down, what you're going to do is indicate your main alignment edge. Reference that true. This way, if you're using fixturing between a few machines, that initial referencing from machine to machine will give you consistency on your fixtures. This is one of our leveling adapters that you could use on that base. We also have solid ones. Mounting a leveling adapter to your fixture, whether it be a vice, V block, You've got a pivot pin and a cam pin that would line up with these holes in the fixture. The larger fixtures will use three 8 millimeter bolt holes to mount the fixture to the adapter. The smaller fixtures will use four 6 millimeter bolt holes. So there's two different bolt patterns that you'd be looking at based on the fixture requirement. And with the fixture just snug on the adapter, you draw your adapter into your base. The compound angle screw draws it first against your alignment edge, then against your stop pin, and then down on Z0. So you've got referencing repeatability from your single screw. Once your fixture is set, again with your pivot pin and your cam pin, you're able to adjust. You can see the movement. You're able to adjust indicating this in true. Once you've got that set true, you can finish tightening your screws. Now your fixture is true in the one direction. When you set your block in to set leveling, loosen these three screws and this larger screw turning counterclockwise will lower the fixture, clockwise will raise it. So this way you're able to get your indicating set in the one direction. Once you got that set, you just want to snug the screw that's right behind it. It's almost like a lock screw. And then you travel your indicator back and forth across the part. Whichever is the high side, you'll start to draw down that screw which draws the, the part down in the vise. Once you have that direction set, all you do is set the other screw just to lock to hold it. With solid stationary jaw, part of the body on our vice construction, you've got a truer referencing edge. Less likely are you going to have to deal with so much leveling time as you would with a spring construction or a jaw that's bolted to the vice body because it's easier to make. And you can change from fixture to fixture in less than a minute's time. Now because of the solid stationary jaw, some customers are able to use a solid adapter. Because of the solid stationary jaw being ground square, you've got truer referencing, you may be able to do without leveling requirements, so we also offer solid adapters. To initially set your workpiece into your vise, make sure everything's clean, but you can just use a standard surface plate. I'll just show it with this uh, table concept here. Setting the vise right down on the surface, holding your part in. Now you're able to tighten the vise down. That'll set the part flush with the bottom of your vise, true for your Z0. And then you're able to pop your adapter back into the base. We also offer the dovetail option. So those people that are using the dovetail rails right now can continue building on their system. You mount your dovetail down to the table and then indicate your dovetail in for your initial referencing. We also have the dovetail adapters to continue going with that type of a system. Again, we've got the same leveling concept 
Also, you can get the solid adapters. And this would be for the larger fixtures with the three 8mm mounting holes. And the smaller fixtures, we've got the four 6mm. But again, it's the same leveling concept. We offer two rails, two style rails. One would be a quick change rail where you've got your main base, again with your referencing in X and Y. The second base is strictly an alignment function. This way when you move your rail in and out of the machine, this bolt would draw it and give you your referencing again in X and Y. This would reference uh, your alignment factors. So for those people that want to interchange the rail in and out of the machine as a quick setup, this would be the way to go. The other concept would be where the slots on the ends of the rail align with the bolt pattern in the table. That would allow you to move the rail front to back. Say if you had a front table and you've got heavy plates that you're hanging off the table and you want to use the rail to support it. Both sides of the rail have function. The one side that has the teeth, it's for locking the rail vise on. Got your stationary jaw. The way the rail is constructed, the insert applying pressure draws down and keeps the part tight against your rail body which also contributes into holding strength. We've got some customers that like the solid concept, so for repeatability on the edge, they'll flip the stationary jaw around and use the second side to reference their part up to. The second side of the rail with the two rows of eight millimeter tapped holes on the side of the rail and the thickness of one inch 450, you've got a good referencing edge that you can put larger blocks flush with the bottom of the rail and just using standard strap clamps you got a wide range of holding apart. It's very secure but what you gain is you're able to trap your lower flushing. There's no interference, no crash zones on the bottom and you've got the same on top. This way you can trap your flushing, increase your burn rates, improve on your productivity. There's a wide range of attachments that go to the rail. Now here's one setup shown. You got your edges that you can mount your parts down, whether it be round parts, or you can come off with uh, rectangular parts. Two different options here. This longer version puts the step at Z0, but now you've got interference with your lower head you have to watch for. And then there's a shorter version that the bottom of the fixture would be at Z0 and your step would be at Z of 150. We have a wide range of attachments that mount to the rail and then we've also got a wide range of V-blocks and other types of fixtures to suit your holding needs. Thank you for your inquiry. I hope you enjoyed the video and it answered some questions. Uh, please feel free to contact us though with any other additional questions or any custom requirement and we look forward to quoting your needs.